at the same group. A in group at the same animal is treated in the before and in the after. Which equalizes the chance of the physiological as well as the genetic Then they reduce the chance of catching. So, what is it? Biases terminating bullying. That is the reduce the chance of confounding variables. These are referred to the confounding variables. But when you selected the one group of animal for the control and another group of animal for the uh, experimental uh, work, work, then there is chance of some biases due to the differences in the genetic and physiological condition. Okay? And after you take the many values before and after the experimental results, before the experimental, experimental results and after the experimental results, you collect the data. The animal may be 20 or 25. If you don't have any data, 20 or 25. And if you consider, take the variables, the 20 and 25, and from the 20 and 25 animals, you collect the two data. And at the first, you get the variation, yeah, differences. Before and after the and then your actual data, actual working data for the calculation of the t value is this one. This one is the actual data, which is which you you know for the calculation of the t value. And likely, at first you get the result of extended period of mean. See that? That is the denominator of the t. That is the denominator of the t. And when you calculate the SEM, obviously you calculate the deviation mean. And the steps are, at first you calculate the deviation mean. Then you calculate the deviational value, difference between the deviational value and deviational mean. Then next you calculate the square value of the each deviation from the mean. Then you calculate the total value of the square deviation from the mean. Then you sum up the total. And then you get the extended error, sorry, extended deviation of the mean by way, either by the way of the variance or directly. By the formula x minus x bar x square divided by n minus 1 under root. And after you get the extended error of mean, sorry, extended deviation, you should calculate the extended error of mean. Extended error of mean, that is extended deviation divided by root under n. And when you calculate the SEM, then you get the P value by the Deviational mean divided by the extended error of mean and the value is the T significance. And thereafter, you determine the degree of freedom by total number minus 1. And thereafter, you analyze the degree of significance with respect to the degree of freedom from the T table. In T table, the degree of freedom is mentioned in the left hand side and with respect to the each degree of freedom, the value of the significance level is put from the 0 0.5 to 0 0.001 and when the value is less than the 0 0.05, then it is non-significant variation and when the value is more than the 0 0.05, then it is the significance. 